the stupidest thing a school employee ever did. My son Arlen burst through the front door that Tuesday afternoon, his backpack hitting the floor with a thud. Instead of his usual chatter about coding club, I saw red-rimmed eyes and trembling lips. Mom, Mr. Halverson deleted everything. He sobbed. Three months of work, just gone. I pulled him into a hug, feeling his shoulders shake. What do you mean deleted everything, sweetheart? Through hiccuping breaths, Arlen explained that their teacher had intentionally wiped all the students' programming projects from the school servers. He said we were spending too much time on games instead of real coding. Mom, mine wasn't even a game. At first I thought maybe there was a computer glitch. But as Arlen continued, my heart sank. Mr. Halverson had deliberately erased months of work because he deemed the projects unworthy of his curriculum standards. These weren't random time killers. The students had been building apps for a district-wide technology showcase. Arlen's team was creating a study helper app that organized homework by due date and difficulty. Other students were already beta testing it. Lyra's group had built a lunch menu tracker for kids with food allergies. Mateo was developing a peer tutoring connector. These were genuine solutions to real problems. Mr. Halverson said games aren't educational and we needed to focus on foundational programming principles. Arlen continued, voice cracking. But mine helps kids organize homework. Tommy from math class said it brought his grade up. I felt my protective instincts flaring. These children had invested creativity and passion into projects making a real difference. And this teacher destroyed it all for educational purity. I called the school the next morning, requesting to speak with Mr. Halverson. When he came to the phone, his tone was dismissive. Parents don't understand computer science education, he said with an audible sigh. These children need fundamental concepts, not flashy entertainment applications. But sir, I pressed. They spent months on these projects. They were learning real skills while solving actual problems. Couldn't you have redirected their approach rather than destroying their work? Sometimes dramatic action is necessary to refocus priorities, he replied curtly. These students will thank me when they have proper foundational skills. That afternoon, I attended coding club to see the aftermath. Twelve bright middle schoolers sat slumped in chairs, staring at blank screens where months of work had lived. Some were quietly crying, others sat in defeated silence. Collaborative energy Arlen had always described was completely extinguished. I spoke with other parents during pickup. Lyra's mom was furious. Her daughter had been accepted to a competitive summer coding camp based on her lunch menu project portfolio, which was now gone. Another parent's child had received interest from a local tutoring business wanting to discuss partnership. Technology coordinator, Ms. Kwan, was equally shocked. He deleted working applications right before the district showcase. These kids were supposed to present next week. She pulled up the backup servers. Everything was gone. Mr. Halverson had even deleted automatic backup files to ensure students couldn't revert to their game-focused mindset. Ms. Kwan immediately contacted the principal. Within hours, Mr. Halverson was suspended pending investigation. The district's IT department worked through the night to recover files from deeper system backups that Mr. Halverson hadn't known existed. They restored about 60% of the projects, including most of Arlen's study app code. Mr. Halverson was terminated the following week after the investigation revealed he had exceeded his authority and violated district policies on student work preservation. The showcase was postponed two weeks, but every student presented their recovered work to standing ovations. Arlen's study app now has over 500 active users district-wide, and the district implemented new policies protecting student creative work.